Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. <laughs> Immortality has long been fascinated by humans. Numerous people over the course of history have searched for the secret of living forever for centuries, but it seems like we've been beaten to it by our animal friends once again. Some animals out there have the ability to survive and live after being subjected to things that would kill humans almost instantly. From headless chickens to immortal sea creatures, here are 10 animals that can live after death. Number 10 chicken. If you thought the expression running around like a headless chicken came out of nowhere, then you're wrong. If you ask any farmer, they'll tell you chickens can still run around with their heads cut off. And there's a very simple reason for this, and it's not because chickens are zombies. This can be due to a human error instead of a chicken's ability to live forever. Its nervous system is very different from a human, and when the head is chopped off, the chicken can still survive for some time because its nervous system is controlled by different parts. The brain is not the most important part, so there's no use chopping it off. But normally, a chicken can survive maybe a few hours after being killed. But there was one chicken that survived for 18 months after his head was cut off. Now, that is an ability we'd want. Number 9. Zombie Dogs Most of us agree that dogs are pretty innocent and peaceful creatures. That wasn't the case back in the early 20th century when dogs were frowned upon. In the Soviet Union, an experiment was carried out that will leave you speechless. In 1940, Russian scientists released a video of severed dog heads that were still kept alive for hours, wiggling their ears in response to sounds and even licking their mouths. Yes, you heard that right. The scientists claimed they could keep the animals alive by an artificial blood circulation system, but that was just the first time scientists had created zombie dogs. In 2005, American scientists created another pack of zombie dogs. The team rapidly killed the dogs by flushing all the blood from their bodies and replacing it with oxygen and sugar-filled saline. According to the researchers, three hours later, the team gave the dogs a blood transfusion and an electric shock. Lo and behold, the dogs were resurrected, and while some had permanent damage, most were completely fine. The research suggests that the treatment could one day revive people who are hemorrhaging blood too quickly for doctors to repair their injuries. Do you agree with such practices? Let me know in the comments. Number 8. Octopus This is the creature that everyone knows can survive after being killed and having its body parts chopped off completely. Not only is it fascinating to us humans, but we also enjoy these half-dead, half-alive octopuses in our meals. Octopus tentacles still reach up to an hour after being severed from their dead owner, and even try to pick up food and feed a phantom mouth. Octopuses are renowned for their smarts, and most of their 130 million IQ-raising neurons are located not in their brains, but along their eight tentacles. These can even open jars. That is something that even most humans struggle with. Octopus tentacles are the reason why even after being cut off from its head, the main body part, the tentacles can give us a creepy time while we feed on them. Try not to swallow one while it's moving too much, as it can be bad for you. Number 7. Cockroach The famous Disney movie WALL-E shows the Earth as a post-apocalyptic world filled with nothing but trash and robots to recycle the trash. WALL-E's only friend on Earth is a surprisingly adorable pet cockroach named Hal. That goes parallel with a popular myth that nothing can kill cockroaches. Cockroaches are like Nick Cage. You can't get rid of them. It is famous that they can survive a nuclear attack, but did you know that they can go on to live for 10 weeks and without their heads? Yes, you heard that right. This is because they have an open circulatory system, so it is little or no blood pressure, and the wound just closes naturally due to clotting. They would obviously die after a while though, because it's kind of difficult to feed yourself without a mouth, but being able to go 10 weeks without a head doesn't sound that bad. Number 6. Flatworms Forget expensive lotions and potions, the key to becoming immortal is found in flatworms. These worms, which live in lakes and ponds, hold the remarkable ability to regenerate time and time again, effectively living forever. If one is cut in half, the head portion grows a tail and the tail portion grows a head. Cut it into 20 pieces and 20 new worms. 
Each an exact copy of the first are created. Scientists at Nottingham University created a colony of more than 20,000 worms, all from one original whose body and organs do not appear to age. The key to flatworms' immortality is telomeres, which are tiny biological clocks that cap the ends of chromosomes. Normally, they get shorter with time, stopping cells from dividing and renewing and causing the body to age. But in the flatworm, the telomeres stay intact, allowing cells to divide many times and stopping aging in its tracks. All that makes flatworms truly the one immortal creature in the world. Someone explained this to Darkseid, so he stops attacking us and goes after these worms. Number 5. Salamander Salamanders are pretty cute creatures. These little guys sport a Mona Lisa half smile and red frilly gills that make them look like they're dressing up for a party. You might not want them in your soiree though. They are also cannibals. Due to harsh conditions, these little but fascinating creatures have developed the ability to regenerate several of their limbs. Isn't that just incredible? If a salamander loses a limb, the appendage will grow back and just the right size. Within weeks, the seam between old and new disappears completely, and it's not just legs. Axolts can regenerate ovary and lung tissue, even parts of the brain and spinal cord. Within weeks, a half-dead salamander is up and running again. Whatever they are doing, it must be working, and they might have just solved the anti-life equation for Darkseid. Number 4. Headless Snakes Headless snakes can be quite terrifying. Coupled with the ability to still be poisonous, snakes have the ability to function normally even after you decapitate them. The head can easily lash out at somebody and bite them despite being detached from the rest of its body. So, you gotta be careful with these slithering creatures. Just because the head is missing doesn't mean you're out of danger. One guy didn't know this and ended up almost losing his life after being bitten by a python he had decapitated. Number 3. Bees Bees are mostly feared as potential deliverers of extremely painful stings. But this isn't all to these amazing creatures. If you've ever been stung by one of these insects, you already know how painful it can be. Such a sting can even be life-threatening for the severely allergic, and emergency treatment might be required. But fortunately, most honeybee stings end in a deadly fate only for the bee. When the insect stings, they do so at the cost of their lives. But that doesn't mean they're completely dead. They have harpoon-like stingers that sink into the flesh and stay anchored there. In fact, it's so deeply embedded that the honeybee mortally injures itself when it flies away. Parts of its nervous muscle and abdomen stay attached to the stinger as it escapes, which results in a catastrophic wound. Although the bee soon perishes, its painful legacy will linger on. The embedded stinger continues to pump venom into the victim even after the bee has died. Number 2. Frogs The fascinating thing about a frog is that it doesn't use its brain much, so that one day, if they don't have a brain to use anymore, they can still survive. Frogs, just like many other creatures on this list, can survive without the brain, but they don't survive without it for long. An experiment was done in the 19th century to find out how this little animal behaves after its brain is taken out, but its head is still intact. It turned out that a headed but brainless frog actually behaves very similar to a healthy frog. If you turn it upside down, it will get back on its feet, and if you put it in water, it will swim to the side and climb out. The factor that results in frogs' zombie-like tendencies is a power of the reflex reaction which fires the necessary electrical impulses that causes a muscle to expand or contract. The result is the frog operating like a normal frog. Well, as normal as frogs can act. Number 1. Chiratopsis dumai at the top of our immortal animals is a very small jellyfish scientifically known as the Turritopsis dumai, or more commonly, the immortal sea creature. This squishy animal has found a way to cheat death by reversing the aging process. Here's how it does it. If it gets sick or injured, it goes back to its polyp stage within three days and transforms itself into the younger starting all over again. In short, it ages backwards, becomes a baby again, and then an adult again. Someone should already be getting this secret Botox formula from these creatures and make a ton of money. 
That's all for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. What animal from this list was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.